In this video, we are going to continue our discussion 11.5, working some examples of um, planes. All right, so starting off, we have our general equation of a plane here. Um, if you need the reminder, it is there. So this first problem says, find the equation of a plane with points. So we have a point, and then it says it's parallel, and this is a, and a big mistake that happens often, and I still make it, that is a plane not a line. We can't write a line in a single equation like that. Just keep that in mind. You can't write a line with that. So what we can pick up though, if this is, if this is L1, then the normal vector for L1 are the coefficients of our variables. So there is a normal vector. If this new plane, I called this a line, but I meant to call it a plane. <laughs> See, it's so easy, plane one. If it was a line, it would be symmetric or parametric. We don't get this equation. So P1, P2, though, has that point, and we want to write the equation of this plane that contains that point and is uh, parallel to that. Well, if they are parallel, that means they have the same normal vector. So P2, we get that point, 7, negative 2, 1. We also get the same exact normal vector. So I'm going to call it N2 now since it's the normal vector for that. And the reason we get the normal vector is because it's parallel to the other plane, which means they have the same normal vector. Now I use the definition to write it out. I got 3x minus 7 minus 1, y plus 2, and then plus 2. Big mistake I see on this a lot is people get their numbers mixed up. Just make sure you're using the correct one. Uh, meaning like the normal vector goes on the outside. This is equal to zero. So that's in standard form, right? And then if we want to go to general form, we just multiply it out. Multiplying it all out here. Um, once we combine everything and move it over to the other side, what we get is 3x minus y plus 2z equals 25. This is in general form. So there we go. So we have two answers there. There's the equation of that plane that has that point and is parallel to that plane. If you're ever unsure if it's a plane or a line, plug it in. Take that equation, plug it in, and look at it. Um, another thing to just try to put in your brain, a line can't be expressed as a single equation, not in three space. OK. The second example says find the equation of the plane containing, and we have three points. So imagine a plane, we'll call it the screen. We have three pl uh, points here. And what we need to do, um, what we need for a equation of a plane is a point. Well, we have three to choose from, so we have that. So what we're missing is this normal vector. So let's think about this for a moment. My normal vector, if I have three points and I make vectors here, let's just make two vectors, and let's call this P, Q and R, well, those vectors lay, lie on the plane. We'll call it the screen. And we need a normal vector. So a normal vector of these two vectors would be like, imagine a vector starting at P and poking out at you, straight at you through the screen. That would be a normal vector to these. Well, hopefully you have a something ringing in your mind, because hopefully you haven't lost it since you watched this, that video last time is if I want a normal vector or an orthogonal vector to P, Q, P, R, I could just take the cross product. Cross product gives me an orthogonal vector that's orthogonal to both vectors I'm crossing. So to begin, I need a P, Q. I've got to have a vector, not a point. So P, Q, I take Q and I minus P. So I got 2 minus a negative 3, that's 5. I got 1 minus a negative 1, that's 2. And then 5 minus 2 is 3. I also need a PR. And we use that same thing, R minus P now. 1 minus a negative 3 is 4. Negative 2 minus a 1 is a negative 1. And then negative 2 minus 2 is a negative 4. Right? And then we get to cross these things. Okay? So let's do that. I'm going to erase the picture over here to give me some room because we're going to need it. Um, we're going to do PQ. PQ crossed with PR. Now, if you don't remember, that is the determinant uh, definition. Q 
Keep in mind, we are going to get a vector for this, and that's what we want. We're looking for a normal vector, because that's all we need. We have a point, we just need a normal vector. All right, so we write this out. All right, so I cover up I in that row, and we get 2, negative 1, 3, negative 4, I, minus, okay, I covered the other column up. Let's erase this one. Cover this column up. Take what we have from there. 5, 4, 3, negative 4. That's a J. Plus, and then I covered this column up. Take what I have from there. 5, 2, 4, negative 1. I always like to make sure I didn't write anything down twice. That's how I can tell I did my columns correctly, hopefully. Okay, from here, um, we're going to work this out. I'm actually just going to go jump. Actually, we're almost there, so we might as well do it. Negative 8 plus 3i. Remember, that's using this diagonal minus the diagonal. Minus negative 20 minus 12j. Plus negative 5 minus 8k. This gives me the normal vector negative 5i plus 32j minus 13k. I actually now have enough information here. Let me create some more room for myself. If you need more room, sorry, you just got to grab another piece of paper or something if you are printing my notes. So we have two things here. We have the normal vector. You can grab it from here, negative 5, 32, negative 13. We also have any point. I just pick up any of them. Um, let's just pick up, let's pick up Q actually, because Q has um, no negatives. So normal vector for the X component, X minus 2 plus 32, y minus 1, minus 13, z minus 5, equals 0. I'm going to stop there. This is my standard form. If they ask for general form, I just multiply it out, move the constant to the other side. 